So I just got Dandy's boots out of the pack and on this foot, I went ahead and put everything on it. So he has the mud strap and the passenger strap and all of that. And over here, I just have the passenger strap just so that we could see what they look like. And so on this one, he has his little padding on it too. If this comes with your boot, you're supposed to wear it for a little while to help the like the rubbing. But so over here, you can see that this boot doesn't have that, which it does have it, but we took it off just to see the fitting. And so you can get your finger back in here pretty good. This side over here is a little bit tight, but they're just like your boots. They're gonna stretch out eventually. And that's what the little, the little pad thing over there is for, is to help this stretch out and help it not cause sores on them. That's what this looks like right now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to put just a regular with the passenger strap and everything. So you're gonna have to unbuckle everything in order to get it on. And you just wanna pick them up and make sure you clean their feet out, which I've already done. And then just pop on like that. And so you get your passenger strap and you just go around, connect it. You might have to tighten them up. So for the toe strap, because these are brand new, you're not gonna be able to just, well, okay, you could. But a lot of times, it's hard on the first time. You have to take a hoof pick and just go in there in that hole and stretch it out over there. So that's this one. And then I'll show you how to put the mud strap on in a second. So to get your mud strap, put it on. You put it in through the back right here. So that it's coming up like that. And you have to put your horse's foot in before you put everything else on. So just give me a second and I'll switch over to putting it on Dandy. All right. We're going to now put all of it on, the mud strap and everything. So you're going to put your mud strap out through the back like that. Get his foot, pop it in. Make sure that nothing twists when you go to put it on, like your mud strap. Let him step down in it. And then you're going to get your collar. You're going to go ahead and attach that. that and you're going to attach it down here to the bottom one put it through through that bottom toe strap and you're going to connect that toe strap and then pull the top toe strap over your mud strap that might be where you get into your being real tight problems of your toe straps just trying to cover this and then you can just leave it like this or you can leave it with the passenger strap but this person decided that they probably needed both and so that is how you do that, and that's what it looks like. Like this. And so this is what the back would look like. Everything is all secure up through here. So there's no way that his foot could come out of it.